we have a state of emergency. <laughs> What is up guys? It is Annalise. Today I am testing a beauty hack that I've been wanting to try for a very very long time because I feel like it spreads around on the internet like wildfire and then you always think to yourself, does that really work? Well, I'm gonna test it today because I have an unfortunate situation. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a bronzer that is <laughs> all shattered into pieces. This is my Pixie by Petra Beauty bronzer in the color Summertime that I love so much. So I was able to pick up a majority of the pieces and there's a lot left, like there's a lot left. So originally I was like, screw it, I'll just buy another one. But then I thought to myself like, no, I, I want to try and fix this. And as I'm sure you guys have seen online before, there is a life hack or whatever, whatever you want to call it, that says you can fix a broken compact, whether it be blush, bronzer, eyeshadow, highlighter, foundation, powdered foundation, who knows? Knows you can fix it with the magic rubbing alcohol, which I think this just says isopropyl prof profyl alcohol. It doesn't say rubbing alcohol, and so I'm hope this will work. But everywhere I read is rubbing alcohol, but I assume that this does the same thing because it's for the medical need of things and whatever. So the claim is is that you take a little bit of this stuff, you mix it into your compact, make it all mushy, and then you flatten it out and it dries out and it's good as new. So I figured I would try that today. I don't do beauty stuff and. And this is not like I've gotten into makeup the more the past like two years than I have my entire life and it's been really weird looking at my makeup collection and how interested I am in makeup versus myself as a young kid thinking that I would never wear makeup and I think I had a bad connotation with makeup maybe I thought it was I don't know but now I've just realized how fun makeup is I still don't know what I'm doing but I'd like to save things that I spent a lot of money on and if this works that is dope because then that means I don't have to buy another one and then you can try this at home and yeah Yay, save makeups and things. Just let you know, I have a camera right here that will catch all the detailed stuff, I think. If it doesn't, then you know, that sucks. What I found is I've found on many, many different sites, they all say about the same thing. I, I have an article here from um, makelifelovely.com. I'll link that in the description. This is the one that I'm going off of. It pretty much says what you'll need is the broken makeup, the alcohol, preferably some like plastic wrap, a spoon to smooth it out, and then to crush it, which I'm taking this little knife, I might use this end of it, but who knows, just to, to crush up the powder. What I also took the liberty of bringing was a little syringe to drop lit things into there so I don't pour too much in. Um, nothing about this says that it has to be one part water, one part alcohol, it just says straight up rubbing alcohol. I got the 70% isopropyl alcohol from Target for like two bucks. There's a 95% one, but I, I honestly didn't know the difference, so I just went with the 70 and it felt safe, you know. So stay Step number one is to gather up all the broken pieces and break them even more, which internally hurts my heart a little bit because I figured, oh, I picked up such big chunks that might be better, that might fare better, but what the instructions say is to make it like a finely ground powder. So I'm gonna go to the small cam and do exactly that. I'm just gonna use the flat end of my big ol' spoon and go at it. Okay, so we're just gonna take this powder and mush it. Oh my god, this is so kind of satisfying. I'm not gonna. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So this is a little bit messy. Some of this is coming out of the container. Okay, so I've got it as ground as much as I think it can go. It just looks like a little pile of powder, like brown sugar. And now we're gonna move on to step two. Just as a warning, something that I am learning is that it is making my hands dirty because it gets on the, the counter and everywhere. So like be prepared to have your space encroached upon by your powder. So the second step is to take a few droplets of the alcohol and drop it into the compact, let it soak in and then kind of flatten and compact it down. What I'm gonna do just to make this easier on myself and to avoid spilling is pour a little bit of this into this tiny container. I think that's probably too much, but I'll pour that in there. And then I'm going to use my water droplet or this is actually a children's medication sucker upper thing and s drop it in and mush it around. We'll see how it goes. Uh oh, that might be a bad idea. So pretty. I now understand why the cling wrap might come in handy, because it's getting messy. Oh, 
Okay guys, this is the final result. I don't know if you can see that, but I ended up putting plastic wrap on top of it and then that kind of got a little sticky and I have cling wrap so that might have had something to do with it. So I put it on top, kind of tried to smooth it out and then I just wrapped my finger in the plastic wrap and smoothed it out even more and that seemed to work better. It wasn't sticking to the plastic as much as it was my finger. And something I have to say about this process is you are going to lose some product, but the little bit that you're losing in comparison to the whole thing that you had lost is nothing. I actually used the dripper and then that didn't work so I just started pouring from this little container because it wasn't making it mushy enough. I don't know my dudes. I just got makeup all over my hands, makeup all over my counter, luckily not on my clothes. And I guess we're gonna see how this is gonna turn out. The spoon definitely helped for like mixing it up and like flattening it out by getting that even texture so that way it would fit in my little lid and all that stuff. Fingers with plastic wrap or maybe even a glove helped a lot. So it now says now that our makeup is all kind of mixed up and putty like and whatnot, all we have to do is wait. It says preferably wait overnight and let the alcohol dry out. Allegedly what it claims is that it's going to leave it hard, the product is going to be like brand new, and it will not smell like alcohol. Yeah, because right, oh, right now it has an alcohol smell. It didn't have really a scent before, so at least there's no change there. I'm interested to see if it has a scent afterward. So now that the majority of the work is done, all we have to do is wait, which is the worst part is the hardest part because I want to have instant gratification, but we will have to wait. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. I'm gonna set this up somewhere in my bathroom so that way it doesn't get knocked over again. I'm just gonna let it chill. I'm not gonna put the lid on it so that way the air will get to it. So I will see you guys in a few hours. Do I care about what the lighting looks like right now? No. It is, oh, it's like 12.30 in the morning and um, I'm filming this part two for you guys. So nobody can ever say that I don't care about my channel or my videos because I'm putting in a lot of effort right now to stay awake. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. It has been more than 24 hours later since I recorded this video. So let's go get our little specimen. Oh, it's in one piece. I just kind of had it sitting like this, so that way maybe like dust wasn't flying onto it, but it was still getting air. It's shiny. I don't know if you can see it. It's shiny. I'm thinking we can do two different tests. One just being a finger swatch, which to be completely honest, I don't remember how it swatched before. And then I got my brush, the one that I always use with this bronzer. I'm gonna find my face and then kind of see what happens. First, let's do a smell test because the claim was that it's not gonna smell like alcohol. I don't smell alcohol from here, but let's see. No, what? No, it just smells like the makeup. Oh. Swatching it and it doesn't, it's not like it's moving. It just looks wet kind of up close. Yep, there it is. There's the color. Yep, just, oh my God, just as I remember it. I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I haven't used this bronzer in like months. Oh my God, I'm so hyped. This is what it looks like. Looks liquidy, but when you put your finger on it, it doesn't do anything to it. It's just cause that's how it dried. Here's the, on my finger, here's it on my hand. Like that is a nice clean swatch. The same consistency it's always been. Like this is pretty on point so far. Okay, I'm gonna leave it this close just so I have to refocus it. So now I'm going to use my brush, which is the um, Luxie 504 large angled brush. And normally what I do is I just go a little like blue, 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 get a little dark, complete blah, blurp, just like that. And then like this, and I'm gonna use the mirror though. <sighs> It's a very, oh wow, it looks a lot different than here. Okay, well that's good, because I, I, I also just bought this highlighter um, from um, Pixie, and it's the Santorini Sunrise highlighter. It's VQ, um, it's, it's what's all over my face right now. But in the mirror, I can't see the darkness, because I think it's so bright in here. Here, I'm just gonna put it on like a white spot on my face. I know this doesn't make sense at all, but I'm just kind of putting it over my face so you can see. Do you see, oh my, yes! I am so hyped. What? Y'all, it freaking worked. Ah! Dudes, this worked. This actually, it doesn't smell like alcohol. It is all in one place. It works on the swatch test. I put it on my face. 
I look ridiculous right now because I just put it all over my face and I have just an obscene amount of highlighter on my face without any foundation or anything else going on. So I understand I probably look like a lunatic right now, but I am so jazzed. Oh my gosh. This just saved my $18 bronzer. I kind of use it to contour. That's why I put it here. I get that might not be the place that you put it. Also, like it's a lot. Like I understand that. Whatever. Don't worry about it. This is just, it's, it's, it's midnight. Sue me. Okay. I am so jazzed right now. Oh my God. Wow. This, I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, y'all. I'm putting this on my um, Twitter and I'll put my instructions, a shortened version of these instructions. If you want to go to this person's website, by all means, I encourage it because of the fact that I went off their instructions. So I will put the link to the article I went off of in the description. Please go check it out. But I will put a condensed version of that because they have some of their own commentary in the description as well just like step one, two, three, ingredients one, two, three, that's it. I have to say the alcohol to fix compact makeup thingamajig is Annalise approved because this worked so well. I am so ecstatic and it's something that now knowing that knock on wood, this never meets the floor again, but if anything that I own does, I can salvage it and it doesn't change the consistency. I don't get the science behind it, can be completely honest but it works and that's all I really care about. Yeah, I am so happy right now. Guys, like this, wow, made my night, not gonna lie. Um, I'm so tired, <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed now, but I am so glad I set all this up to test that out. I am so stoked. Please guys, if you try this out, let me know, tag me on Twitter, put it in the comment section of this video. If you guys try this amazing beauty hack, please let me know in the comment section of this video or tag me on Twitter or do both or whatever, because I want to know how it worked for you and your product. I think this is extremely easy and knowing how easy this is, I should have done this months ago. So like I said, alcohol to fix powdered compact products is Annalise improved. Please go try it. Salvage your makeup. It is the best. And it's good for the environment, I feel like. Not having to buy more makeup, you know? Not wasting. So guys, if you guys liked this video, if you liked me testing out life hacks or beauty hacks or hacks or whatever it is, if you liked me putting things to the test, is it a rumor? Is it a rumor? Who knows? Put it in the comment section down below. Let me know what you would like me to test next. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if this was helpful. Let me know in the comment section below, like I said, if you tried it and if it worked for you, because I'm hoping it works for everybody and every product, because so far, this seems like a miracle. Please follow me on all my social media links. They are in down in the description as well. I just posted today on my Snapchat a first swatches and whatever on some new Pixie products I bought today. If you want to see a dedicated video to that, holla at your girl, I'll make it happen. Otherwise, that is it for me. Stay beautiful, have a marvelous day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.